Hello, my name is Michel Pahu and I'm working with Bill Buxton and Ken Inkley at Microsoft Research. So our research focuses on looking at how to do bimanual input and look at what kind of things we can create with that. We are looking at large tabletop uh, kind of display like Surface, uh, also tablet PC, as well as a smartphone kind of this, uh, device. So uh, this demonstration will be mainly uh, focusing on the, the Surface. So by default, uh, the pen write and touch manipulates. You can also use touch to zoom and pan and so on. But now, if you combine both together, let's say if I combine pen and touch, pen and touch at the same time, I can create new tools. As an example, if I hold an object and cross through with my pen, my pen becomes exacto knife. Also, if I hold an object and go across, I can copy the object. I can also convert the pen into a stapler. So if I select several objects and then tap with the pen, it creates a pile of those objects. I can also create straight edge by holding the object with two fingers and then crossing with my pen and I have a straight edge. On the top of that, I could staple. So if I put my finger down and tap with the pen, I create a staple of the image. I can even change the color by putting my finger in one of the color and then stapling again and I can change the color. What I showed you on Surface was that I could pan and zoom using my non-dominant hand while writing with my dominant hand. So now if we look at the smartphone, how can we convert this model on a smartphone? So the smartphone, you know that the non-dominant hand will be holding the smartphone. So here the conceptual model that we have done to, to stay true with what we have done on Surface is that you move the smartphone to pan or you go up and down to zoom. And then you still have your dominant hand to write on your diagram. In conclusion, basically, we have looked at what we can do with pen and touch. This research is just an ongoing research. We believe that there are a lot of scenarios where it could be a huge impact for the users. For instance, to annotate, to be able to manipulate objects with a minimum of UI on the screen.